Hey everyone, um, hope everyone is doing great. Um, in this video, we will talk about Sun in the Ashwini Nakshatra. So if you have not watched the first video about this Nakshatra, just to give a small recap. So, so I will be doing the recap from the perspective of this video. Um, so there are four quarters or padas what we can call it, alright. Then the first quarter is mainly as a part of Aries. So Aries sign and Aries is governed by who? Mars, alright. So this pad or pada is mostly ruled with courage, physical activity and your spirit. Alright, uh, the second pada is governed by uh, it rests in Taurus and uh, you know like Taurus is governed by Venus. So this shows more resource driven and practical. Third pada or the quarter it relates to Gemini Navamasha and that's Gemini is governed by Mercury. So this is associated with your communication, this is associated with showing the light to people and the humorous aspect. All right, uh, <coughs> excuse me. The fourth pada it falls in the Cancer Namasha. All right, and Cancer is you know like governed by Moon, so it's all has to do with the aspect of healing. You connect to the sensitive needs of the people, you heal the people. So that's all about the four different paths. All right. Now let's move. Uh, let's see the effects of sun in this Ashwini pada. Talking about the first pada or the first quarter or the first, uh, yeah, first pada. So people over here they are a born leader. They have a strong sense of duty and they are honest people. They are, so if they are within, if you, these kind of people are within your group, they are going to be more courageous, they are going to be more passionate. Why? Because as we already discussed, we know like first father is associated with Mars, it's associated with Aries. So what does Aries do? It's going to make you more brave, more courageous. Uh, these guys will have intelligence, they will have a sharp mind, they at times will be impatient. Um, they are quick learners, they are quick to solve any problems. So these guys will be more suited for jobs like police, government, military. Quick, very quick reaction. Why? Because Mars, Mars is who? Who is a Mars? He's the general, he's the commander, right? So he wants everything quick, want to move at a fast pace. And this is, remember also, this is a sign where Sun is exalted. All right? Uh, they, these guys, they live a prosperous life. Always they will have a name and fame in the society. At times, because of their success, they might be egoistic and they will be dominating. That's about Ashwini Pada first. Let's talk about Pada 2. In Pada 2, as we already know, like it's governed by uh, a Taurus. And in this case, these guys are fortunate. Um, I mean... Taurus is all about, Taurus is a Venus sign, right? So Taurus is all about um, happiness. Taurus is all about um, like enjoyment. I mean, like what is Venus associated with? Happiness, enjoyment, luxuries. So lady luck, lady luck also showers on them. So in case of like uh, your professional or personal settings, so they enjoy good social status. Venus, uh, wealth as well. From wealth perspective, they will do good. Um, they will try to maintain them, themselves in terms of their physical health. They will be good looking. They will have their own charm. They will have their own aura wherever these guys go. They will attract a traffic on their own. All right. So these guys are also generous. They are subtle and at times few of them will be introvert. Not majority of them, but few of them will be introvert. Um, you cannot predict their temperament at times they will be cold at times they will be harsh you know anyways like venus is a hot planet so but uh, from the planet perspective they will be like um like venus is a mild right so they will be cold at times they will be harsh as well sarcastic as well and um, they'll be innovative individuals they will, they will excel in whatever field they are so if you are a software engineer you might have like a lot of patents um then if you are uh, somebody in the arts, so you will bring out the best in the arts, you think outside the box. These guys will be vulnerable to eye infections and illness. All right, moving on to Pada 3. 
Um, these guys are martial energy dominant. So Mars energy is more than them. They are physically stout. They are popular among the circles. Times they can be harsh. They are candid and don't fail us. Um, these guys are fearless. I mean, like most courageous people, they will lead from the front. They have a good sense of their self-esteem. Sometimes they might get confused with what is self-esteem and what is ego. Sometimes they will cross that line. It might hurt and rub people in the wrong way. But in most of the cases, they are composed. They are practical people and uh, uh, depending on what Dasha and the other planetary combinations, you might have a not so good experience during your childhood. So you will face reality and you will have experienced the reality during your early age or during your childhood. Uh, these guys have so much to share and they are impatient and talkative. They keep on talking, keep on talking because they have multiple things that they can share. And this is the thing that can rub off people in the wrong way that they, you cannot expect them to be good listeners. All right. So these guys, they earn a lot and they can excel well in the situation where uh, as a professor or as a researcher, wherein everybody is looking up to you or as somebody who is giving the directions. So these guys excel in those kind of professions. They earn a lot, but uh, due to multiple reasons, like they are so involved in the work, they struggle to enjoy richness and luxuries that the life can offer. But for sure, their family does enjoy all the richness and luxuries. They will face struggle because of work related issues. So for these people, balancing is a key act over here. You have to balance between your work life and professional life and uh, work life and personal life. And uh, if you don't do that, you will have struggles in your medicinal life. All right, moving on to last Pada, that is Pada 4. These guys are courageous and ambitious. So they have a lot of ambitions and they are quite bold to take on the risk and uh, make sure they are able to achieve that. So two things you will find in this kind of guys, like either they will succeed a lot or they will be known for their failures. Either way, they will be known. They are a warrior, so never give up is the kind of mantra that these guys have. And uh, most of the cases, they excel at what they do. Sun and Mars energy make these fellas a lot of confident, powerful, and at times harsh in nature. They enjoy success as well. They, it comes across as rude when they start talking. When they become overconfident, it might come across as a rude to some individuals. These guys are destroyer of enemies. They are uh, hard workers, they never give up and they will do whatever it takes to make sure they achieve their goals. Uh, wealth wise, they do okay. They never have scarcity of anything throughout their life. They are okay and um, they have enough wealth. Uh, for, them, uh, for them, these guys, they excel in fields like machinery, um, AI, you can say machine learning and uh, artificial intelligence, sculpture, so those kind of things. All right, so that's all about Sun in Ashwini Nakshatra. We will do the next video about Sun in uh, Moon in Ashwini Nakshatra. Um, as I always say, if you do have any comments, suggestions, please um, have it, please enter them in the comment section below. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching it and hope you all guys do good and stay safe.